Our Farm Basics time each week is designed to talk to non-farmers especially, but whether you're a farmer or non-farmer, there's something you've got to know about grass production. We want to think about pastures and grass production kind of like we do with our crops. We want to raise the most yield. Okay, well with grass, it's tonnage. How are we going to improve tonnage, especially once it starts to get cold in the fall? There is absolutely something that can be done. Well, in our part of the world, if we could just have May and June all throughout the year, we'd never have to talk about this. We've got great grass growth. I mean, you see it at home, your lawn, you're mowing it twice a week. You're like, see, man, this thing just keeps now, growing. That's exactly that where I'm going to disagree with Darren, because what happens some days in May, Darren? Some days it gets really cold. It gets 45 degrees, 40 degrees, something like that. Maybe 55, 60 for a high. That's a problem when it comes to grass production. So yes, we automatically think about mowing the lawn and everything else, but the problem is, when it's that cold, the grass doesn't grow like it should. Naturally, inside the plant, it has plant growth hormones. There's one in particular called gibberellic acid that we want to discuss today. Well, gibberellic acid helps with stem elongation. And so when plants are growing fast and you're mowing the yard twice a week, or you could say, I had the cattle out on the pasture, they can hardly keep up. The grass is growing so fast. That's awesome. Your plant is producing a lot of gibberellic acid in the roots, pushing it up. Now it's getting all the stem elongation. So yep. how do we keep that up all well, through wait, the season? Yep, but the, but the thing is, this is naturally produced in the plant when there's heat. Okay, when there's no heat, now we've got a problem. So what we suggest you do if you have pastures, or for that matter, if you want to mow your lawn a little bit more, you can use gibberellic acid right over the top of that grass when that temperature is in the range of 40 to 65 degrees, especially 50 to 65 degrees is usually what we target. But the point is, when you have a little bit cooler conditions, you can put that gibberellic acid on, you trick the plant into thinking things are good, you will absolutely have a lot more stem elongation, you will absolutely have more tonnage when you're spraying timely. Well, it's very inexpensive to do, and you will get a lot more growth, there's no doubt about it. We've seen it at home on our own pasture. Wow, it makes a big difference. It's very noticeable pretty quickly, actually, too. And, and the thing that you may think of is, well, I'm, I'm doing rotational grazing, and I'm, I'm putting my cattle into different parts of the pasture, so I give that grass time to regrow. You can speed that up. Uh, so you don't have to move them quite as often if you're using rhizome. Okay, so real quick, we would just challenge you. If you are a rancher and you want more grass production, try some gibberellic acid this fall. When that temperature is below 65 degrees, yes, it's got to be above freezing, obviously, but below 65 degrees, try some gibberellic acid side by side with untreated. You will see a difference. This is something that you absolutely will want to do moving forward because it's very inexpensive. One product we've used that has gibberellic acid in it is Rise Up Smart Grass, but there are others out there as well. Well, there are a lot of things to focus on out in your pasture. One of those things may just be controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 